What happened inside this Big Bear cabin was the beginning of the end for fugitive Christopher Dorner. We had come into the living room and he opened the door and came out at us. And he, and he had his gun drawn. He just sort of yelled, stay calm. Karen and Jim Reynolds were face to face with the triple murder suspect. He said, I know you've been seeing the news. I know you know who I am. The Reynolds knew who Dorner was and what police say he had done. He, he very insisted four or five that, times that he yeah. didn't have a problem with us. He just wanted to clear his name. Dorner tied the couple up, stuffed their mouths with rags, and covered their heads with pillowcases. I thought he was going to kill us. Fifteen minutes after the Reynolds walked in on Dorner, who was gone in their car, the Reynolds broke free and called 911. Dorner had not taken their cell phones. Police say Dorner shot and killed Deputy Jeremiah McKay, a father of two, a cop's cop. McKay had recently told an AP reporter, we're hoping this comes to a close without more casualties. That was not to be. The one with the smoke is the target cabin. The end for Dorner was near. The sheriff's department now says the fire was ignited by tear gas grenades, not intentionally lit. Candy Martin watched her vacation home burn down on live TV. I imagine, what is he doing? What is What room is he in? But then when the fire, oh my gosh, that, that was heart-wrenching. It wasn't easy for the Reynolds either. Afraid for their own lives, they never wanted Dorner to lose his. I didn't wish him dead, though, at any point. I really didn't. I prayed for him a lot, and, and I'm praying for his family now.